The world is moving towards electric vehicles to establish a greener transportation network. The EU alone has set a target of having 30 million electric cars by 2030. And in Ireland, the government wants almost a million cars on road by 2030 to meet its carbon emissions commitments. Now that is almost one third of Ireland's existing fleet on road. Are you someone looking to switch to electric vehicle or someone who's wondering if there are any cost benefit to moving to an electric vehicle compared to a traditional petrol or a diesel car? We did some math and this is what we found out. When the cost of gas or petrol is equal to 1 euro and 55 cents per liter and the cost of electricity becomes 44 cents per kilowatt hour, the cost of operating an EV is almost equal as a traditional gasoline car. Interesting, but there's more to it. Hello, my name is Andrew Mendes and welcome to evswitcher.com. We help first-time EV buyers with personalized advice on making the switch to an electric vehicle. In today's video, we want to discuss the actual cost of charging an electric car in 2023 and discuss the benefits, if there is any, when compared to traditional gasoline cars. Before we begin to dive into the details, please take a moment to subscribe to our channel and remember to hit the bell button to get notified every time we publish amazing videos like this. Now we spoke about the different governments have done to meet the carbon emissions target by 2030. Now to increase EV demand, not just governments, but even automotive businesses and firms have taken significant investments. For example, Volkswagen Group has announced that it will stop developing new internal combustion engines by 2026 and stop producing them by 2028. By the end of this video, you will have a better understanding of the true cost of charging an electric car in 2023 and be able to make an informed decision whether to switch to an electric car or not. So stay tuned and let's dive into the numbers. Now, if you have very really specific questions about the move to electric, I would urge you to go to evswitcher.com where we deliver personalized advice to your inbox. Now, this is a service free of cost for first time EV buyers to help them make the switch to an EV. Now, it's obvious that the electric vehicles are the future of driving. But the real question, is there a cost benefit while operating an EV? Or is it any better in terms of consumption of energy or environmental cost when it comes to a traditional car? But before we talk about the cost, let's discuss the different types of chargers used to charge an electric vehicle. First, there's the home charger or granny charger as they call it, which uses a regular three pin domestic outlet inside your home. It typically requires a car charger with a three pin connector. With a three kilowatt output, this will take a lot of time to charge your car. In fact, my ID4 takes about two days to fully charge and hence the name granny charger. There's also the home charger, which is conventionally called the wall box charger, which gives a seven or 7.5 kilowatt output and requires a single phase electricity supply to be installed in our premises. This is a bit more quicker than the granny charger has to offer. Then there's the external 22 kilowatt AC charger or the fast charger which is compatible either with a type 1 or type 2 cable. You'll find these in most of the public charging outlets. And finally, there's the super fast chargers and rapid chargers, which have an output of 100 kilowatts or 150 kilowatts, or even sometimes 300 kilowatts, and typically used at public charging stations or private locations for fast and efficient charging. The 300 kilowatt chargers are just something new and that's coming up in most of the EU countries. Of course, it dramatically changes the wait time to charge your EV. But mind you, your car battery needs to have the speed to accept that charger. So if your car battery speed is only 50 kilowatt, even if it's plugged into a 300 kilowatt, you will only be able to still charge in the 50 kilowatt speed. Now that we've covered the different type of chargers, I'd also like to mention the different factors that might influence the performance of electric car batteries, which are driving conditions, climate, battery size, and the battery management system of the vehicle itself. To make it in simple terms, let's compare it to a mobile phone, right? When you use a mobile phone, if you have more apps open, if you do a lot of calls, your battery drains quickly. It's a similar thing for EVs as well but slightly also dependent on climatic conditions as well. For example, on cold weathers, the EV battery range decreases a lot. All right, it's time to move on to the most important part of this video, which is 
the answer the big question on what is the actual cost of charging an electric vehicle in 2023. For internal combustion engine cars or ICE cars as we call it, we usually talk about the operation cost of a vehicle in terms of the mileage. But for EVs, I think it would be much easier to sit or simpler to consider the cost and time taken to charge an EV to cover 100 kilometers. Now for the calculations we're doing today, we're taking some basic assumptions. The assumptions that we're making is that the cost of a liter of petrol is 1 euro 55 cents per liter and that your ICE car can give you a mileage of 20 kilometers per liter, meaning a 100 kilometer journey in an ICE car would cost you around 7 euro and 55 cents. On the EV side, the assumption is that 18 kilowatt hour of charge will give you enough to travel 100 kilometers. Conventionally, we would just take 15 kilowatt hour to travel 100 kilometers in a standard test conditions. But for the sake of this video, let's be a bit adventurous, shall we? Now, let's get into the cost. This we are assuming that 80% of the time you charge at home. Now, if you have a nighttime rate which converts to 20 cents per kilowatt hour, this translates to 3 euro and 54 cents through charge your EV enough to travel 100 kilometers. If you look at the math, simple 20 cents into 18 kilowatt hour that gives you 3 euro 54 cents. Now let's look at the external chargers, right? When it comes to the case of fast chargers and rapid chargers, going by the rates published in January 2023, on the ESB side, the electricity rate is 58 cents for fast charger and 61 cents per kilowatt hour for a rapid charger, which would translate the cost of traveling 100 kilometers for a fast charger as 10 euro 55 cents and for a rapid charger at 10 euro 93 cents respectively. Another common, commonly available public charging network is Ionity, which facilitate long distance travels across Europe. The cost of electricity in Ionity chargers as of now is 73 cents per kilowatt hour, which translates to a rough cost of 12 euro and 93 cents to travel 100 kilometers. And finally, EasyGo is one of the Ireland's largest EV charging network. As per their published cost of 70 cents, the total cost to travel 100 kilometers for EasyGo would be 12 euro 60 cents. All right, so here's the final figures comparing all the available charging options that an EV user has in Ireland in 2023. Now that we have covered the cost of charging an EV, the next most important factor is the time required because that's the most critical part when it comes to ownership of an EV, which is very different from a traditional gasoline car. All right, time for some more math. Let's look at what is the time taken to charge a car to travel 100 kilometers in different types of chargers. First, let's look at the granny charger, which gives an output of 3 kilowatt, which means 18 kilowatt hour, which is what's required to travel 100 kilometers by 3, that means 6 hours. So in a granny charger, it takes 6 hours to give you enough charge to travel 100 kilometers. Next, the wall boost charger, which is 7 kilowatts. Again, 18 by 7, that's 2.57, that's roughly 3 hours. Now let's look at the fast, the rapid fast and the super fast chargers. So the fast charger of 22 kilowatt hour, it will take you 81 minutes. For the super fast charger of 55, 50 kilowatt hour, it will take you 35 minutes. For the rapid charger of 100 kilowatt hour, it take you 18 minutes. And for the 150 kilowatt, it would take you 12 minutes. All right, so that's the final figures comparing different charger types and the time it takes to charge your EV to cover 100 kilometers. All right, the final verdict, yeah? Electric cars versus internal combustion engine and cost of running, what's the final verdict? Now, now I think it's clear from the above calculations that when the cost of gasoline is 1 euro 55 cents per liter and the cost of electricity becomes 44 cents per kilowatt hour, the cost of power operating an ICE vehicle becomes almost the same as EV. But since 80% of the charging is done at home, where you get reduced cost of electricity, the night rate's like 20 cents, your cost of charging an EV is considerably less than operating a gasoline car. Now these figures that we calculated here can be a good starting point for someone looking to switch to an electric vehicle this 2023. Mind you, the path to an electric life is challenging. 
the public infrastructure has a long way to go before you can easily access them. I myself have been driving for four years and I know every time when I want to access these public charging stations, I have to wait for someone to unplug from these stations or move from these stations before I can access them. So switching to an electric vehicle is a lifestyle change that requires a bit of planning. Now, if you have any further questions about switching to an EV, come to evswitcher.com and we'll give you personalized reply to your inbox. That is evswitcher.com. All right, folks, thanks for watching this video. Please, again, if you're not already done this, subscribe and click the bell button so that you get notified every time we publish some of these videos. Thanks again for watching.